and, and winning, at least to, to those who have won at the highest level, it seems like it has this degree of insatiability where you know, some people look at someone like Tom Brady and say, well, the last thing he needs is another Super Bowl ring. I mean, what does he have to prove to anyone? And yet, here he is, again, chasing after another one. If you could describe what that is. He's not trying to prove anything to anybody. He's just trying to prove it to himself. He's not doing this for anybody else. He's doing, he's doing it for he's doing it for himself, and that's the thing. What everybody says, everybody says, uh, you know, I'm trying to prove them wrong. Don't prove them wrong. Prove yourself right. Prove yourself right. All right. It, it's with with each win. It, it, I have individuals that always say, "Listen, I, how can I get more confident? Win. It's a simple. It's the simplest thing." <laughs> You find individuals, the more they win, the more confident that they are. The more confident that they are. Because winning is the dealer for confidence. It is the dealer for confidence. All right? That's why you see these athletes that have won all the time, these business people that have uh, that have won. I mean, you literally have individuals now. You have, um, you have three individuals. When I grew up, you know, you used to look at the sky and you'd, you'd hold a plane and you'd be like, oh, you're going to... Now you got three three multi billionaires competing to see who could who could spend more time in space. So that that's you know that's that those are their wins now. That's what they're going. That's what they're that's what they're going after. All right, they're not in their mind. They're like, okay, yeah, they are competing against those under other individuals, but they're also competing with what what's winning is telling them in their mind. So. For people that always say, man, the last thing he needs is another ring. The last thing they need is another dollar. The last thing they need is another successful. That's, you know, that's always, that's not, that's a mindset. And that's not the winning mindset. All right. Who are you to say what that person needs? Who are you to say that that's what that person should be doing? Because most of the people that are giving advice aren't doing those things themselves. People have the worst relationships give relationship advice. People that aren't financially successful, they tell you how to spend your money. Everyone becomes an, everyone all of a sudden is an expert in something that's never won at anything and social media has allowed, allowed us to do that. No. It's allowed us to do that. You know, Mike Tyson said this perfectly. He goes, you know what? He goes, back in the day, if you said something to an individual, you'd be, you know, you'd be worried about getting hit in the jaw. And he goes, now having that phone allows you to talk trash, criticize individuals, say things to individuals, and be, and be protected. You know what I always say for the individuals that, that have anything negative to say about me, put them in the same room as I am, and now they're my best friends. You know, the level of courage goes down. Winning requires you to have that level of courage all the time. It allows you to have that level of confidence all the time. It has, you have to have that resiliency no matter, no matter what's, go, what's going to happen. Well, Tom knows he could walk out on top, right? And if he doesn't win, everybody's going to say, oh, he should, have, he should have done this, he should have done that, he should have done that. No, that's what you wanted to do. That's what he, give him and give those individuals credit for deciding what their winning mindset was and what they wanted to do and not what somebody else wanted them to do. They know exactly who they are and that's the most important thing in order to win. You have to know exactly who you are, not what somebody else wants you to be.